welcome back to Game Galaxy, and today I'm just so excited. I wanted to make this quick video, not necessarily related to gaming, but just that I'm really excited about the newest Power Ranger film is in theaters. Guys, I worked on the visual effects team for this movie, so absolutely go see it. It's a whole lot of fun. Now, I was able to go to the actual Power Ranger premiere here in Los Angeles on Wednesday night, and it was just unbelievable and incredible and fun. I got to meet some really uh, cool people and chat with some of the OG Rangers like Jason David Frank, Tommy Oliver, the Green Ranger, White Ranger. He was an awesome dude. That was just a blast, you know, to meet him. And, you know, he was really cool. He actually spent some time talking with me. And I feel so bad for him because this isn't really a spoiler in the movie, but he does have a cameo and you'd be silly to expect him not to. So I'm not spoiling anything, but he does have a cameo towards the end of the film. And... You know, he told me, he was like, you know, I was here, I spent all this money to come with my family, and we went all out here, and I was, I was getting ready to, you know, I took out my phone, because I wanted to capture my cameo with the audience reaction, and he's like, you know, I'm a professional, I get stuff all the time, I'm not going to post something on Facebook, or something I'm not supposed to, but when he pulled out his phone, I guess security, you know, like, pulled him out of the crowd, and took him outside, and they're like, give me your phone, and he's like, I'm not giving you my phone, like, you're not getting my iPhone, <laughs> and, uh, you know, just saying all these stuff. And he's like, look, I'm in the movie, and they just didn't care and harassed him. So then he said, I, well, I went to the bathroom, and then more security guards started coming and harass him. And he was like, yeah, that's ridiculous. So he ended up missing his own cameo. And he's like, yeah, man, I came here, and I, I didn't even get to hear it. And then I hear, you know, the, the crowd from afar going crazy, and it's like, oh, man, it sucks. I was like, dude, I feel so bad for you. That sucks. And I was like, that's just totally awful, man. I feel so bad. But JDF... It was so awesome to have you there, and like I told you to your face, it's it's so good what you do for the brand. Everything you do on Facebook and through the years, the superpower beat down with Bat in the Sun, that stuff is amazing. So keep on doing what you're doing because you don't have to. I was also able to uh, chat with the Walter Jones, the original Black Ranger, and that was just crazy. I was just like, dude, I used to see you when I was little, and he's like, look at you now, man, you're all grown up. And it was funny. Now here's where I feel stupid. At this party, which was crazy, I saw this dude multiple times, multiple times, who had like sunglasses on, and I, you know, he caught my eye because I was like, who is it, you know? And it turns out it was the original Red Ranger, Austin St. John, and I just, ugh, I'm still mad about it because I didn't get a chance to chat with him and tell him I would have like lost my mind, like, dude, you're my favorite Ranger, you were my hero as a kid, you know? And I didn't get to do that, and I felt so stupid. And it's only because he was wearing the sunglasses. If he had, they were so large, if he had taken them off, I would have recognized his face in an instant. So I'm really upset that I didn't like check all of the Rangers' social media to see if they were going to be there because I'm, I'm still beating myself up about it. You don't have any idea how sad I am about that. I really wanted to meet that man and I might not get that chance again. There were other cool people from YouTube there. I got to talk to Andre from Black Nerd Comedy. He was so fun and that is such... A nice dude. If any of you ever get to talk to Andre in person, that's like the happiest dude I've ever met. And <laughs> he just makes you laugh. And if you haven't seen his Power Ranger trailer reaction video, I'm going to link it in the description. It is so, it just, I was dying laughing at his excitement. In a good way, in a good way. It's just, it's really good. I also met Bruno from the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Toys YouTube channel and his wife. You know, f fantastic guys. I love their channel. I actually just discovered their channel only a month ago. So I felt kind of awkward approaching him because I'm like, I, don't, I know I don't know too much of your content, but I've just seen the amazing paintwork you do on the toys that you buy and, and, and do all that. So it's very cool. But yeah, man, it was just a whole lot of fun. I highly recommend everybody go see the movie. Don't get, you know, it's might have been, it might have been marketed as like a dark, gritty Power Ranger, but it's really not. It's more of a, you know, happy-go-lucky, fun movie there are there are some a little bit of intense scenes here and there but for the most part it's nice and fun so absolutely go see the movie and return back to the youtube channel here game galaxy on sunday for the review of one of my favorite power ranger games of all time and that's power rangers super legends on the playstation 2 so i'll see you sunday on this take care